everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm bringing you a different video. I have partnered up with Look Fantastic to share with you my everyday makeup routine. So this is the look that I will be showing you how to create. It's the makeup that I wear in pretty much every video on this channel and I wear on a daily basis if I'm going out and about and stuff like that. I've had a fair few questions about how I do my makeup so I thought why not bring it to you in a video. So the majority of the products that I'm going to be using in this video I have been using for a very long time. They are products that I've found work well for me. Obviously I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not trained in makeup whatsoever. Everything that I have learned, I've learned through trial and error and through watching other makeup routine videos all throughout my teen years on YouTube. But finally at the age of 27 I found a makeup routine that works for me and I thought I would share it with you too. So if you want to know how I get this look, keep watching. The first step of my routine is to moisturise. The Waleda Skin Food Light is a great base for a glowy makeup look. After applying the moisturiser, I pat the product in to ensure some of its shine is left on my skin. Next up is foundation. I've been using MAC Studio Fix Fluid for about 10 years now. It's my favourite foundation of all time. I dot it all over my face, then buff it into my skin using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. A small amount of this foundation gives great coverage and it's also super buildable. For a daytime look, I like to use one pump so my freckles are still visible. I finish by dabbing the brush across my skin to diffuse any excess product. I'm now using the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer to help brighten my under eye area. I like to use the Real Techniques sponge to gently dab the product in. This also removes any excess product if you apply too much. I then take the sponge around any other areas of my face that need buffing out. Next I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is a really thick, full coverage concealer that's great for covering blemishes. I use my finger to dab it onto any areas of redness and dab around the outside of the blemish to blend it in. Using the sponge I then apply concealer to my nose. For some reason my nose gets really red compared to the rest of my face so I like to apply extra product here. I then dab a small amount across any areas that need a little more coverage, including my under eye area. I then use a sponge to further blend any areas where my foundation may have built up, for example, the lines on my forehead. I'm now applying some Burt's Bees Lip Balm to prep my lips. I usually do this when I moisturise, but I forgot to do this step today. Next up is powder. I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish which gives a medium coverage. I like to use a powder puff to set the makeup in certain areas of my face like my nose, under eyes and forehead. I never really see people do this with a puff but for me it works much better than a brush. It really stops makeup building up in my lines and creases, especially the creases under my eyes. I then apply a little powder to the areas where I'm going to add contour and finish by swiping the puff along my jawline to blend the product in with the rest of my skin. Now on to contour. I'm using the NYX Contour Palette which is super pigmented so you really don't need to use a lot. I take the product through the contours of my cheeks then onto my temples and forehead. I prefer to build this product up gradually rather than applying loads at once. I'm now going in with the NYX Matte Bronzer in shade Light. I'm sweeping this onto my cheeks to warm the look up, then over my forehead and temples where the sun would naturally hit my face. I'm now using a small amount of the MAC Mineralized Blush in shade New Romance on the apples of my cheeks. I love this blush so much and the pot lasts forever. To blend my face makeup together, I'm using the Clean Real Techniques Powder Brush. Next up is eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette which is my most used and loved eyeshadow palette. For the base I'm taking the shade Naked across my whole eyelid. This is a really nice neutral shade and I use it all the time. I'm then going to take the shade Buck through the crease of my eyelid and into the outer corner. I really do apologise for my concentration face throughout this video. I do not look happy, but I promise you I am. I 
I'm now taking the shade Smog and doing the same technique as before, but with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. For a more pared down natural look, I'd recommend using the shade Sidecar for this step, which is another one of my favourite colours from this palette. I'm dabbing the product into the outer corner of my eyelid and bringing it through the crease. I then buff the edges out so there's not a really dramatic line. Okay, maybe I applied a little too much today. I'm now going to apply the shade Half Baked to the centre of my eyelids. It's a warm golden shade and I think it complements my complexion and hair colour really nicely. I love it. Notice that I'm not dragging the product across my eyelid but instead patting it so I don't diffuse any of that amazing colour. To finish, I use the excess product on the brush to blend the outline of the eyeshadow. Now for the lash line. First, I take the shade Buck and gently apply it to my lower lash line and then onto the outer corner of my top lash line. I then do the same technique with the shade Smog. Does anyone else pull these weird faces when doing their makeup? I can't be the only one. To blend the eyeshadow look together, I take a fluffy brush across each eye. This is also a really useful step if you accidentally applied too much eyeshadow as it really helps blend it in. I'm now going to apply the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner to my lash line and waterline. This pencil is super long, longer than any eyeliner I've ever used. I like using brown coal liner because I think it gives a more natural feel and complements my eye colour. I'm now blending the liner with the same brush I applied the under eye shadow with. Sorry about my eyes here, I look like a character from a horror film or something. I'm now going to curl my lashes with the Tweezer Man Eyelash Curlers. I tend to pulse the curlers on my lash line for about 10 seconds on each eye. I won't show you the process though as you've seen enough of my eyeballs today. Next up is mascara. I've been using the Rimmel Volume Colorist Mascara for years. I originally purchased it because it adds a tint to your lashes, but I've continued using it because I love the length and volume it gives my lashes. It doesn't make them clumpy like other mascaras either. And I think my lashes are probably darker than they used to be before using this too. I tend to start at the tip of my lashes rather than near the lash line because I find this helps elongate the lashes better. I usually apply one layer of mascara to each eye and let it set for a bit before going ahead and applying a second layer. In the meantime, while my mascara sets, I'm applying my highlighter. This is my very much loved Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It's a great tone for my complexion and it's super shiny too, but not so shiny that it looks unnatural. I apply this to my cheekbones, brow bones, the inner corners of my eyes and my cupid's bow. I then go in with a second layer of mascara now that the first layer has dried. To finish this look off, I'm applying my favourite lipstick, MAC Velvet Teddy. For a more natural look, I dab it onto my lips, then use my finger to blend. And this is the finished look. So there you go, that is my full everyday makeup routine. Thank you so much again to Look Fantastic for partnering with me on this video. I had so much fun creating a new kind of video for this channel and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it too. If you want to see more videos like this, then please feel free to let me know. I will put a link to all of the products used in the description bar below. But as always, please feel free to give the video a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. Bye guys.